right, so today I'm going to do the best I can to show you how to add vectors geometrically using a protractor. Okay, so they're telling us we have vector u, it has a magnitude of 4 centimeters and a direction 65 degrees, and then we've got um, v with a magnitude of, um, maybe we should have said, they should have said like this, the magnitude of u equals 4. Um, that would be proper math notation. Um, and then they tell us V has a magnitude of 7 and it's a direction of, of 110 degrees. And they want us to do this geometrically and we are going to practice with the compass. Um, I'm assuming that you are somewhat familiar with your compass, um, but here goes nothing. Um, so the first one, as I begin, I'm just going to sketch out, um, I'm going to keep dotted lines kind of as a reference for me. So if you see here, um, I'm kind of trying to be parallel to the paper. And then at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set my, um, my protractor um, in here. And they told me it had a, um, an, a measure of 65 degrees. So since it's coming up this way, 65 degrees puts me somewhere in here. I'm going to put a point. I'm going to draw a dotted line between connecting those. Here is that and there is that. Something roughly like this. Okay. And then, here's, here's that, that line. Um, and then they told us that it had a length of, it told us it had a magnitude of four centimeters. So then I'm gonna come through here and inside of my, um, my protractor is the, this little scale here. So this should get me hopefully to about four. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then from here, then the next one, this is vector u. So I'm gonna label that. And then we're going to add vector v to that. So what we need to do with vector v is we need to come and try and make something that's roughly parallel to the line below it, okay? Because it's, it's based off of, it's not 110 degrees from here. It's 110 degrees, like they, if they wanted us to do that, they would have to tell us. Um, okay, so here is a new kind of guideline for us. And then I'm going to come through and put the center of my protractor here. And then we're going to count up. So here's 110 to this point right here. So I'm going to connect. Can you still see what I'm doing? Yes. Um, I'm going to connect those. And then I just need to measure that. Oh, look, here's 7. So if I start from 7 to 0 along that dotted line, that's pretty close. Okay, and this becomes vector, oop, I lied, vector v. Okay, so um, you know what I should have done and didn't do? This is vector u, it has an arrow because it has direction and magnitude. It's going a particular direction, it needs to go this way. And then this vector v has a particular um, direction also, so we need an arrow. And then I'm going to come through here and, and connect this. Sometimes our resultants are done with a, a dotted line, um, not so much like these dotted lines, but just anyway. This is the resultant vector, okay, and so this would be vector u plus v, and we need to figure out, well, a couple things. One, we want to figure out the angle that it's at, so I'm going to come back to this original line. Do you see how I have lined this up right through here? And then I'm going to measure out, and this looks roughly 94-ish. Um, this is not a, as precise as some areas of mathematics when, when we're using the, the, the protractor. Um, so this appears to have a, an angle of 94 degrees. There it is. And then I'm going to measure that. We, they gave it to us in centimeters, so I'm going to answer them in centimeters. And so I get roughly, hang on, I can't do it at that angle. Um, from here, okay, well, maybe I should use a different ruler that goes a little farther because it's a little bit more than 10. So let's say here is 5. Uh, so that becomes 10.2-ish. So, um, well, two little, two little tick marks. Each little tick mark... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yes. Okay, so it's 94 degrees, um, and then the magnitude of that vector is 10.2 centimeters. Um, 